Right now at 6, a major roadblock holding up first responders in Huntersville. Huntersville Fire took this picture showing cars linking to the road and making it a tight squeeze as they headed to an emergency. Fox 46's Annie Zatowski live in Huntersville tonight. And Annie, it's been a problem for uh, several years now. Fire crews say people parking on both sides of the street has become a big problem. Yeah, Brian, it certainly has. And that photo was posted here in the Tanner's Creek neighborhood uh, where cars were parked on either side of the street. And the fire department just said if they were heading to an emergency that that would be, again, as you mentioned, a very tight squeeze for them. And neighbors say it's been a problem and they would just like you to pay attention to where you're parking. Street width is a hot topic in Huntersville, especially on Journey's End and Tanner's Creek. They're very narrow streets. Megan Masters thinks about it a lot. A regular sized car can't get through much less an ambulance or a fire truck. And that's the issue for the Huntersville Fire Department. They posted this photo on social media Sunday showing just how little room they'd have to get through with cars parked on both sides of the street. Seconds or minutes matter when there's a major emergency like that and so they don't have time to Go to your door and knock and see if someone's home and get them to move. Like, there's not time for all that. Huntersville's planning director, Jack Simino, says many residential streets are narrow like that for a reason. If they're super wide streets, then you have a lot of stormwater runoff. You got to accommodate that. When streets are extra wide, people tend to drive faster, and then people start asking for speed humps, which is not good for fire response. So that means it's driver's responsibility to leave enough space to pass. So a 20 foot wide street, even if there's a car parked uh, on the street, a fire truck can get around it. But that's not happening. We've even reported on the same issue back in 2018, where Huntersville Fire couldn't get their truck through Tanner's Creek Road to respond to a carbon monoxide call. Kind of anxiety inducing for me because I'm like, oh my God, what if something happened? They couldn't get to us. Masters says it's simple. Pay attention and think about your neighbors. Be considerate of one another. Don't park behind someone's driveway. Don't park on both sides of the street. You know, it's just basic human decency and consideration. And thankfully, again, over the weekend, crews weren't responding to any emergency. It was sort of a reminder for people. They say, though, if they are heading to a fire or another call, they will not hesitate to move, quote unquote, your vehicle out of the way. They might sideswipe it a little bit because, again, they're trying to get to an emergency. So they encourage you to use that driveway, use that garage. And if you do have to park on the street, just notice who's around you. And if there's someone directly across from you, maybe find somewhere else to park. Live in Huntersville tonight, Andy Satowski, Fox 46.